Hi everyone, welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. I am your host, Iggy. Uh, for those of you who have enlisted in the Iggy Army, let's get Iggy with it, okay? Now, today we're going to be looking at 40th Anniversary G.I. Joe sets. Now, these sets were first released in 2003, and then they started to get hot and heavy in 2004, and I believe by 2005, Hasbro lost interest in continuing it. And some of the sets they did not release, uh, they made available to the G.I. Joe Collectors Club. And uh, they were selling them for quite a bit of money, actually. And now there are three times the price the club was offering them for. So I, I suppose that's because uh, they're somewhat limited. However, these sets were originally um, listed by uh, Air Force, Army, um, Navy, and Marines. And they would, uh, you know, they would release like a couple Marine sets and then an Army set and a Navy set and so on. So let's begin, okay? Now, the first one up is a G.I. Joe Marine Medic. Now, what a lot of people don't notice about this is the Marines don't have medics. The Marines have Navy corpsmen. And a medic would be, an, should have been released under the Army. Um, like, they should have gone with the action soldier. But for some reason, they released it under the Marines and thereby making it, uh, I guess, wrong from the get-go. But I had this set when I was a boy. I got it for Christmas. I still have the stretcher, the uh, crutch, the medical bag, and one armband. I remember the flag I threw out. I don't know why I did that when I was a kid, but I, I didn't like it, so I threw it out. Uh, of course, the um, plasma, the stethoscope, and the bandages I lost a long time ago. Now, if you look at the plasma, it has, a, uh, of course, a faux needle on it. But I'm glad I never had to be punctured by one of those. It looks pretty hurtful. But I suppose if you've been shot, you probably wouldn't notice that too much. But it's, it's a great set, and uh, I think it was exclusive to Target, but I you know, it's been so many years, guys, I can't even remember anymore. Now, this is the Marine, and the Marine <clears throat> I got, I think, for my birthday, and M Mom was okay getting this set along with this one because it was somewhat nonviolent. I guess she figured guys wouldn't go into combat with a white rifle, and she's correct on that point. But, you know, Mom didn't like war toys. My brother Ron got a um, Battleground playset when he was a boy. He got cap guns and all. But by the time I came around five years later, uh, Mom was like, oh, no, no war toys. He'll grow up to be a mass murderer. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake. And uh, there is a big movement in the late 60s to do away with war toys. And, uh, of course, they got rid of pressured to get rid of G.I. Joe and cap guns. And, and Mark's toys relied heavily on their, uh, like, Thompson machine gun and cowboy guns and play sets. So their business by 1980 was gone. And they were once the biggest toy company in the world. But it shows you how uh, societal norms and pressures can change a company's output and outlook. But I did get and, – and oh, by the way, the only photograph I have of my G.I. Joes as a boy is – dressed in a marine outfit I also got this one this is mom approved it was of the military police but I never had the MP helmet 
Um, that came, that's uh, available in this set here. Comes with a machine gun, sandbox bags, and oddly enough, an MP helmet. Now I think in this set, I would have made a regular helmet, but uh, you know, I don't know what's going on at Hasbro, but uh, that's how they did it. Anyway, uh, this came with a duffel bag, uh, an MP armband, a 45, a billy club, a belt, and a scarf, and uh, so on. And then, of course, I showed you this one already. It comes with the MP helmet and the machine gun. Then we come over here. I also had this as a kid because this one, let's move it. There we go. Uh, was non-threatening. It was of a Mae West life jacket, and signal flags, and a signal uh, gun. Not a single signal. Not a gun. Uh, blinker light? Is that what they call it? Maybe it says on the box. Yeah, blinker light. Oh. And it's uh, for the Navy, of course. And then this one here is for uh, the Action Marine. And this is a great set because this is my favorite. It comes with a backpack, an e-tool, canteen, hand grenades, cartridge belt, and rifle, bayonet. This is an awesome set. Now, these sets were also numbered, like this one here is the eighth in a series. And of course, it ca they came with a Joe. In this case, he's a redhead. I love redheads. <laughs> there he is. And he's a Marine. And he has his fatigue cap, and his boots on. And it'll also show on the back future G.I. Joe sets that were due to be released. So you can get a limited idea of what was going to be available. And then it has some of their advertising. These photos are f f photos? What are photos? Frankfurters? I don't know. Uh, these photos are of um, from their sales brochure that they also issued to you if you joined the G.I. Joe Club back in the day. And they were a great source of inspiration for me because I always wanted to duplicate the scenes that you sh uh, show here. I never had the resources for that, but uh, I do now, oddly enough. Okay, so that's all the uh, 40th anniversary Joes that I, I have found uh, today in storage. And I got to say this, guys, I love these. I just absolutely love these. I have nothing critical to say about it because they're loving duplications of the sets that they released down to the minutest detail. The coffin boxes are constructed in the same way as the originals, including the tape that doesn't hold the box together because it dries out. And... Uh, the packaging is all authentic to the ones they had uh, back in the 60s. It's just a lovely, wonderful collection. I highly urge you, if you're a G.I. Joe fan, to get these sets because after they released this, all the other ones just didn't mean anything to me because I didn't have them when I was a kid. You know, the power of nostalgia is overwhelming in some cases. But uh, I am certainly glad to have these now. I feel multiply blessed to be able to have these in my collection. And um, I have more of them. I think I have like three of each one that they released, including I have a couple that were not released, but I only have like one, one of them or something like that. At any rate, thank you for coming along and checking out my 40th 
my, a partial sample of my 40th anniversary sets. And uh, I'll be seeing you shortly. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the notification bell. Maybe hit the like button and uh, leave a comment by all means. I'd love to hear about what you guys got. I'm sure some of you have also uh, been in love with these. And uh, maybe we can all get together. Maybe we should go, let's see, a central location. Because uh, we have fans in Singapore and, and elsewhere. Russia. Uh, you know, Sweden. Maybe we could all get together in England and get in someone's backyard and dig some trenches and play with our Joes. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Uh, my friend Doug, uh, he collected some of these, but we never had a chance to, to play with them. Doug's married, so his wife probably would go, what have you done to my husband? He's turned into a 10-year-old. Anyway, Iggy likes to do that, turn people into 10-year-olds. I hope you're all 10 by the end of this video. Okay, you guys, thanks for coming along. I'm going to hit the dusty trail and... Uh, Guten Abend, alles mein Kameraden. Uh, adios, amigos, and I'll catch you next time.